Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. I almost forgot what day it was. It's Jody Breckville, Stampin' Queen here. I'm live in my studio in Pennsylvania, and I'm ready to do some stampin' with you guys. So if you are on with me, come on into my studio. Give me a like. Give me a love. Tell me you're here and where you're joining from. And let's get stampin', shall we? So it is um, New Catalog Eve, and tomorrow our brand new catalog goes live. So we are saying, sadly, bittersweet moment, right? We got to say goodbye to these two catalogs. And um, this is your last chance, friends. This is the last chance to get any items out of these catalogs. They retire tonight, and we have this gorgeous new catalog ready to roll tomorrow. We can actually start to show the inside of things, but you've been seeing sneaky peeks all over the internet, I am sure. So we do want to play this evening with Best Butterflies. I was having a little bit of a date with this one um, this week. I had come down with some asthma and some allergies and turned into bronchitis. And so I was hanging low and playing in my studio. This one didn't get much ink and sadly it is sold out, but the dyes are still available. The gems are still available. And this cool paper is still available. So you can still get that. It is on sale in the online store. Let me put up the, um, there's my website right there. So you can hop over to the online store and you can check out some of the items that are still around. Just keep in mind, friends, that when this catalog goes live, there is some price increases in here. So I'm stocking up on some cardstock and some envelopes this evening. Um, here is May's host code. So you want to make sure you use that host code because during the month of May, the entire month of May, um, your order of $50 will get you a free pack, brand new, brand spanking new pack of gems. So you can go into my online store, use this host code right here, and then I will send you some gems. I'm not saying what the gems are. I'm going to have them be a surprise because I don't know what inventory looks like. And so um, you guys might be getting different gems. All depends on how things look, but absolutely free with your purchase of $50 during the month of May, but you have to use that host code. So make sure you do that unless your order is 150. So if your order is 150 or more, do not use that host code because you need to get some free items, okay? Um, let me get the comments up here so I can see who's on. We've got a couple friends joining us this evening. I also want to make sure I give a quick shout out to my catalog kickoff event. This is held with my Movalist Stampers team. We have an entire team that gets together and we host a virtual kickoff for you guys. So it is June 10th. This printing is really, really light, kind of sucky. Um, but June 10th, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time totally virtual. You get make and takes, you get product to use on your, on your cards. We have coupons, we have special offers, we have guest stampers. Um, there are seven different make and takes you get. And if you register as an early bird, you get an eighth project for free. So information will be in the description of this video after we're done here. So you can click the link and sign up. But my team has been doing this together since COVID and we have such a good time stamping for everybody online. It is open to demonstrators and customers. Share it with your friends, let everybody know. The cool thing about doing it virtually is it will record. So if you're not available June 10th, you can still take the class and you can go back and watch the recordings anytime you want. All right, let's get stamping, shall we? I have two projects I wanna share with you guys. One is easy peasy mac and cheesy, and one is a little bit stepped up with some fun fold. So let me grab some supplies. Hold, please. All right, we've got some starry sky and some crushed curry, and we're gonna make this cute card right here. Super, super easy. Make some room. <clears throat> The only thing that I do not have available is going to be this ribbon. So it has a little fresh freezer ribbon, but holy guacamole, I cleaned out my office and got rid of all of my retiring product and that ribbon went with it. So I do not have that ribbon anymore. So we're going to start off with our Starry Sky, half a piece of cardstock, and we'll fold that in half. 
And we have a piece of, I don't know why I have an extra piece, piece of designer series paper. And we're gonna layer that onto a piece of basic white. Hey, Betty, thanks for joining us this evening. Now I will make sure that the dimensions are going to be in the description of the video. So don't worry that I'm not giving out measurements right now. You can come back and you don't have to rewatch the whole thing. They'll be in the, in the description. Now, if you are going to put a ribbon on, now is the time. I do not have any more fresh freesia ribbon. So we are going to put this piece on totally naked. Naked paper. That's what we're going to play with today. But if you have some of that fresh freesia ribbon, use it. All right. Well, it looks like, goodness gracious, how am I already missing that piece of cardstock? Everything was laying right here on my table, ready for my live video. And look what happened. All right. Well, guess what we're going to do, guys? We have to do a little bit more work. So let me grab a piece of paper and some dies. <clears throat> All right, so it just so happens that those stitched dies reti are retiring, aren't they? So we're going to use the radiating dies. So I've got that here, and we're going to get out our baby blue boss, blue baby boss. And we'll just run that through. Trim it down just a smidge. going to fit right just barely just grabbed myself a piece of scrap and it is just going to go through all righty this was supposed to be done beforehand but best laid plans right sometimes they just don't work out but we can make do. So I'm going to use that one instead. That is the radiating stitches dies. And you can see here that I use the stitched rectangle dies. Just a little bit bigger. But I think it's going to work just fine. Because those guys are retiring tomorrow. Now the radiating stitches are sold out too. But they will be coming back. So have no fear. We've got crushed curry and starry sky. So we're going to ink up all the love here and just go down there in that bottom corner. <clears throat> I'm going to cough a little bit, guys. I'm still recovering from being ill last week. I got hit pretty hard. The allergies and the asthma got a hold of me and I had to go get some medicine. So here is these little stitchy um segments right and that's like the butterfly trail of him flying but because it's photopolymer i can bend it so we can actually give it like a little bit of movement so you can kind of make it do what it should do turn and twist, whatever works, right? Now we'll add some dimensionals. And I mentioned this is an easy peasy card. So let's put some pop tarts on here. And then we'll add that little butterfly and bada bing, bada boom. We have got a cute little butterfly card. I'm, I'm really sad that it took me this long to play with this stamp set, but Sometimes other ones just jump in front of them. There we are. Now, the itty bitties are perfect 
for this one, but I don't know if I have, I do have some here. So I did cut it out of Calypso Coral and I'm going to put some bitty dimensionals on the back of this little guy. So he looks like he's taking flight. No retiring colors on this one. They're all staying. So yay for that. So there is our little floating, flittering butterfly, and his wings are flappy and everything. All right, let's add some gems just to make it pretty. And I think we could do orange or we could probably do yellow. I feel like the yellow may stick out a little bit better. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do them here. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? Super cute. And we have to say goodbye to these. I think they're on the clear, on the um, retiring list. And I feel like they were like four bucks or something. Super good deal. So here is the version that I did before with the stitched rectangle, the retiring ribbon, there's some gems right there. And then I just pulled in the radiating die and just kind of did it a little bit differently. So that is our first very easy card. Now we're gonna step it up a notch. I did make two other cards and I shared these on my social media last week, I think. So we did the You're My Bestie card and we did some heat embossing there. And then I just did stamping. So this is just stamped, die cut out his little body. And I added some Wink Estella. So I don't know if you can see the shimmer and shine there. And then this one's just a little, hey, hey girl, fun fold with that paper and some stamped and die cut butterflies. So next up, we're going to go with a shadow box. And look at that in there. We got a wobbler. So we're going to make this cute little shadow box here. And I did a lot of this ahead of time. But I'm going to give you the dimensions and then you'll be able to make these at home. <clears throat> Don't lose my pieces and parts. So let's, let's do some, do a little bit of scoring here. Oh my, I'm sorry guys. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, so we have got this piece of fresh freesia, okay? And it is four and a quarter by 11. And we need to do some scoring. So we're going to score at, let me make sure I'm right here. Okay, we're going to score at four and a quarter. Okay, so we've got our four and a quarter here. I've already scored ahead, so I'm just showing you. Four and a quarter. Then we are going to score at five and a quarter. Okay, down that way. Four and a quarter, five and a quarter. Then we'll skip over to here and we'll do nine and a half and ten and a half. Okay, so those are your scores. Four and a quarter, five and a quarter, nine and a half, ten and a half. Now you don't do the circle first. You're going to do that second. I just have that done ahead of time just to save. Now the next thing we're going to do is take a piece of fresh freesia. And this is one and one quarter by five and three quarters. And we're going to score at three quarters. Turn it and do the other end at three quarters as well. Okay, so that's all we're doing for, for the scoring. Now what you'll do is grab a circle and do that. You could use a circle punch, you can use the retiring layering circles, I use the stitch circles. So you're gonna cut that out of the panel that does is by itself, not the one that has these ends. Okay, so this is not the circle. You're going to cut the circle out of this one. And now we're just going to fold these score lines. 
and they're all going to come forward. Hey, Mary Ellen and Corinne and Sharon. Glad to have you all on. So there's how our box is going to go together, our little shadow box. Okay. So we've got a piece of designer series paper, and we're going to attach that to the inside. And again, I'll be sure to have those dimensions down in the description for you. So this piece of paper is going to go right in the middle and it's really meeting right at the both of those seams. So we wanna make sure these seams fold over. So if you need to trim it like that should probably be trimmed just a teeny tiny bit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it against its will here and make it work for me. So, um, you could just trim it like an eighth of an inch down maybe because you need this you need this guy to fold flat to go in a card okay now we've got this little piece here i'm going to fold these this is almost making like a little bridge and we'll take a piece of designer series paper and we're going to attach that right to the front So you can make, even though all these things are retiring, you could absolutely use the same template and make something else. And then you know which one I feel like I'm gonna do that with is the, um, I don't know its name. I have it here. Let me see where it is. <coughs> this one, Beauty of the Deep. Mm -hmm. So don't you think that would be cool? And you could like do little wobbles on the fish and stuff. So maybe I need to do that. Or the monkeys. We could do something with the monkeys. That would be fun. All right. While we have this, I had some green glue here, but it seems to have walked off. So let me go find my green glue because I want to put all these little doodahs on there. And I love the green glue for this. So these little flowers come from this die right here. So you can run that entire die through and it'll give you all those little teeny flowers. So that's pretty cool, but they are teeny tiny, teeny tiny itty bitties. So we're just gonna make ourselves a little flower garden across here. <clears throat> Everybody have a good weekend this weekend. Here we are Monday again. I was away with demonstrators all weekend doing a demonstrator event here in my town and it was awesome. We had Elizabeth Belleville come from Stampin' Up. She joined us from Utah. A couple of my friends came and were speakers for us and we just had an amazing time. It's called Connect and Create. It's a demonstrator event. And we do, we do it virtually, and we also um, did it in person. So we had a grand time hanging out with about 50 demonstrators. So much fun. All righty. Now we need to add this inside of our card. So we're just putting a little bit of, of adhesive on each end, and we're just going to fold. Let me make sure I'm telling you correctly. Yep. We're going to fold that over and match it right here at the bottom. And then this one is going to fold over and match here at the bottom. There'll be a little bit of a bow in there and that's okay because you want it to stick out. Now to put my card together, I'm going to go with tear and tape. I could use green glue, but I do not want to use seal. I want something a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go with the tear and tape. And all I need to do is close that. Hold on, how do I wanna do that? This piece needs to go here, so it is gonna come this way. Because this is how it's going to end up 
folding flat in your card or in your envelope, I should say. Okay, so it should go flat. And then there's your pop-up. Isn't that cute? But guess what I forgot to do, you guys? I forgot to stamp. I did this the first time and I was like, don't forget, and I forgot. <laughs> so we're gonna make it, we're gonna see if we can make it work. Cause it does add a little decoration to it. Some, some focal point. So we're just gonna take these little dots here and just stamp some poker dots here on the, on the side. So if you have not done one yet, make sure that you add your polka dots before you put your card together. There we go. We'll just do them along that edge. Okay. Now our next step is we need to put, we need to put some of these little butterflies together. So I have pieces and parts cut out some fresh freesia, some crushed curry, tops and bottoms, big bodies and little bodies. So what I did <clears throat> with these is I die cut them out with the sticker sheet on the back, the adhesive sheets. That makes things so much easier. So we're just going to peel that sticker sheet off. and just lay it over top of the solid outline, which is easier said than done when you have shadow in your studio because you're stamping at night. All right, so there's that one. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the purple, or the freesia as it's called. Sometimes the trickiest part is actually getting the sticker apart. There we go. So we'll just attach these together. So that's one of our big butterflies. And then I'm going to do some adhesive here on his body and just attach his wings. So there is one big butterfly and this one is going to get one of the wobbles. So these wobbles are so fun. All you need to do is peel off the sticker and put it down on the back. Then peel off the other sticker and we just kind of adjust it down inside there and now he's a little spring super cute so this little guy here he's a little bit smaller so we'll attach his wings here top wings and then bottom wings And then we'll add him to the base of our card. So he's floating right in the right into the scene there. He's gonna flutter on in. All right, so now we just need to do our sentiment. So that's gonna be a little bit of heat embossing. You guys like to do heat embossing? This is what drew me to stamping in the first place fell in love with heat embossing. And I don't do it very often, and I really, really should, because it's so much fun. So we're stamping in the Versamark. That's our good sticky ink, and then we're just gonna put our white powder over top. Get off any of the excess that we don't need here. That looks pretty good. So it's gonna get a little bit warm, a little bit loud.
awesome. It is magical, Lori. You are so right. Especially, I think, the gold. The gold is the one that really got me. But I do like the, the black or the white on black as well. So now that we have that done, it's time to do a little bit of fussy cutting. So there is not a die for this one. Some of our new words do have cutout dies, which is very, very cool. But this one is done by hand, by my hands. But it does kind of give a cool, a cool fun look when you fussy cut your, your uh, sentiments out. So you don't have to worry about getting too close and you don't have to worry about being perfect. You do want to be careful with those low hanging fruit though. Those G's and J's and Y's. You don't want to accidentally cut one of those off and have to go back and redo your sentiment. That's for sure. All righty. Looking good. Feeling good. Sending good vibes. I feel like maybe we want some dimensionals on that. How about some more of those little bitty ones? They fit in there perfectly. The black ones would actually fit in there super perfect. And I want to be careful that I don't have it go off my card because I don't want it to interfere with the envelope. So there we have sending good vibes and we should add some some flowers and that's it you guys that is my quick and easy card and then my stepped up shadow box card fun yeah using up some of the retired goodies there we are super sweet so there's our projects and i'm sorry i'm showing you something that's already sold out but the dies like I said the dies are still there you can build butterflies you can get the paper and you can also get the cool gems so that's what I wanted to show you quick and easy tonight so don't forget to check out my colorful catalog kickoff with my team description and registration will be in the um or registration will be in the description and then free gems all this month. So um, I am getting ready to leave the country. We are, many of us are heading out on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip coming up in a couple weeks. So hopefully we'll be able to check in and say hello from Norway. Um, but if not, you know that I won't be doing lives and I, I probably will not do recordings. I'm trying not to stress myself out too much and just get ready to go and enjoy my time. It's my son's graduation Saturday. He is going to graduate from Penn State this Saturday. And then he and I are going to Norway together to celebrate his college graduation. So I want to just enjoy that time and not be too worried about having to have prepped and get ready and pre-scheduled and done videos and all that kind of stuff. And I know you guys will be here when we get back for sure, but we'll be here live next week and the week after because I do have a special offer. Uh, coming for when I'm away. I have a very special class that I think you guys will love. So you'll want to check back in a couple weeks for that information. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy Monday, everybody. And come back and visit me Wednesday. I'll be here live Wednesday at noon Eastern time. See you guys.